This video is about the amazing facts about the simple garment that would change the fashion world. Not only would it create its own industry in garment decorating, but it would also change how messages are shared forever. The T-shirt. This garment has a rich and interesting history. Originally designed as an undergarment for men. It became strictly female in the 16th century when Queen Catherine de' Medici demanded fashionable ladies of the court dress in anything but trousers. It took on a whole different identity in the 20s when Coco Chanel's T-shaped shirt made from jersey fabrics became popular. This shirt was very easy to wash and is a great way to protect the skin from bacteria. A clean and laundered shirt shows off how wealthy a man is. The shape of T-shirts has evolved over time. Originally, they were designed as large rectangles with long tails that could be tucked into the trousers. At some point in the 19th century, the sides became smaller and it was common for t-shirts to be made with a tight fit. This garment fits close to the body but is usually allowed to droop over the waistline. This has been a long-standing tradition dating back to the end of the 19th century when British sailors began wearing them while they were working on deck. The practice quickly spread to the general public. New uses for t-shirts including outerwear, sleepwear, and underwear became more widespread. The US Navy has been making changes to its outfits since the 1880s. In 1880, they introduced a loosely fitting shirt with a square neck, and in 1913, they made cotton underwear the t-shirt their official uniform item. T-shirt production boomed in the early 20th century. Haynes began making men's underwear in 1901 and Fruit of the Loom marketed t-shirts on a large scale beginning in the 1910s. T-shirts were first introduced to college sportsmen in the 1930s and were a standard issue. Sears almost sold 8 million of these undershirts in the 1940s alone. The ads from this time period said it could be worn as an outer shirt and that it was great for sports and lounging. A trend in uniform design for the military services was to have a white short-sleeved cotton shirt. This became the norm by World War II. T-shirts have been associated with heroism since wartime, and when they became after-war apparel in the 1950s, they were designed as casual attire that symbolized youthful rebellion. Hollywood's rising stars were wearing white T-shirts to highlight their rebellious characters in the mid-20th century such as Montgomery Clift in A Place in the Sun, 1951. Marlon Brando and James Dean helped popularize t-shirts in the 1950s by wearing them outside of work. The t-shirt has still not found its place at the office. The transition between them is acceptable as casual clothes took approximately 60 years to become the standard uniform at work. In the 20th century, the t-shirt was mostly used as a casual top and to mark various subcultures. In 1956, Malcolm McLaren opened his first store in London called Let It Rock with the provocative name of the sex shop. He helped popularize t-shirts and influenced a new way of thinking about fashion that was more casual, anti-establishment, and rebellious. The word t-shirt itself was not used until the first half of the 20th century. It was originally spelled as t-shirt. The word became associated with a style of athletic clothing given to sailors in order to protect them from paint while they were working on ships. Although t-shirts have been around for a really long time, however, they became super popular during the 60s. Wearing t-shirts, especially for women, tended to play out one's sex appeal. In the 1970s the t-shirts first became unisex. In 1977, Jacqueline Bissett Scandalized moviegoers in the deep And in the 1980s, Madonna made t-shirts the new uniform for women. The prevalence of low-cut necklines, a la Christian Dior's, new look from 1947, demonstrated that women have been choosing to expose more of their bodies than was traditionally seen as proper. In this sense, wearing t-shirts is a way for women to make a statement about what is traditionally defined as feminine. In the 1990s, 
many women began wearing t-shirts to show off their homegrown homemade tattoos. For example, one woman may have a tattoo that reads, Faith of my heart, and wears a shirt reading, Faith of my soul. T-shirts began to be used as an alternative for covering up tattoos. T-shirts have been around for a really long time but became super popular during the 60s. Wearing t-shirts, especially for women, tended to play out one's sex appeal. As the t-shirt moved from underwear to outerwear, its use became a blank slate for messages. Whether it is political, advertorial, graphics-based, or humorous, virtually any message can be put on a t-shirt. Technological advances in silkscreen printing started in the early 1960s were made it easy, fast, and inexpensive to print designs onto shirts. This led to t-shirts being personalized and sold as custom-made items by the 1970s. Businesses have been using promotional t-shirts for a long time and have realized their use of them in advertising. Social media influencers and celebrities use this shirt to market themselves, their albums, and upcoming tour dates. The two types of physical t-shirts are tank tops and short sleeve tops. Tank tops are shirts that cover the body with a tank, usually made of ribbed or stretchy material. Shirts can be short-sleeved or sleeveless and can also cover the arms or be cropped. Short sleeves may have long cuffs as well as a wide neckline, which has a v-neck. Round neck. Or other fashionable types of t-shirts with collars like polo t-shirts. The t-shirt as a fashion choice has appealed to people of all backgrounds. The item is intimidating at first, but considered appropriate in most cultures. T-shirts are a staple of street culture, and rappers in the 90s were no exception. T-shirts are loud about declaring who you are or what you stand for, but this is only one side of its story. Fashionable t-shirts have been a staple since the 1950s and high street retailers continually reinterpret them in new ways. The t-shirt as a fashion choice has appealed to people of all backgrounds. The item is intimidating at first, but considered appropriate in most cultures thanks to its association with leisurely tasks like working out or reading. For instance, designers like Dior, Chanel, and Lacoste in the 1970s all wore t-shirts as part of their uniforms. Modern-day designers often design their own t-shirts and other clothing items under their own brand. A few examples are Giorgio Armani, Helmut Lang, and Nicholas Gasquier. T-shirts are the most ubiquitous type of clothing today, and there's no denying that. They've been around for over a century now, and it's just impossible to imagine a wardrobe without one. With such a long history, it's no wonder why T-shirts have been the symbol of comfort and casual wear since the 1970s. And for good reason, they are versatile, comfortable, and can make any outfit look cool. In case you're wondering what constitutes a classic t-shirt in fashion terms, it is made from cotton, rayon, or other soft, lightweight fabrics. What are your thoughts on the t-shirt? How has it changed over time? I think they're very versatile, and sometimes people might not feel comfortable wearing them. But I think that's a personal preference. I personally love wearing them and have a few different t-shirts in my closet. They can be worn for many different occasions, such as casual, formal, or sporty events. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching.